Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of All Stuff Film. It's so great to see you all again. Well, I can't actually see you, but thank you for watching. You get the gist. Today I will talk to you about a true force of nature. This guy won Mr. Olympia seven times, became the highest paid actor per spoken line in the film, then got bored of it all and went into politics. Well, in case you're a troglodyte, I'm talking about Arnold, the Barbarian, the Terminator and the Governor Schwarzenegger. Just the fact that he got into the movie industry is a miracle. Everybody told him he would never make it because of his huge frame, weird name and thick accent. But you know what? All those idiots were wrong because today he has a career spanning 50 years. Boop, boop, boop. In fact, his career is so vast that I'll barely be able to touch on a few of his biggest films. The role that put him on the map was Conan the Barbarian, where Schwarzy gets in touch with his inner caveman and goes hunting for the killers of his parents. Really? I mean, what idiot thinks it's a good idea to kill this guy's parents? I mean, just look at it. And then he also thinks it's a great idea to kill his woman too. Let me breathe my last breath into your mouth. I'm so cold. Isn't this the most romantic thing? In the end, the bad guy's height gets reduced by about a head. <laughs> I will kill you, Kron! Oi, you do realize that you're a middle-aged man with a weird fucking wig playing with a plastic sword? You do realize you're a middle-aged dude playing with a plastic sword? Fuck off! Asshole. His breakthrough role came, of course, in the form of the now classic The Terminator, where he plays this futuristic robot killing machine with a weird accent. I fucked this up so badly that it's not even funny. But I'm gonna do it now. Right. So, okay. Let's do it again. His breakthrough role came, of course, in the form of the now classic The Terminator, where he plays a killing machine with a weird accent. Now, this movie works so well because of his big frame and thick accent. A whole police force is no match for this robot extraordinaire and he goes through them like hot dagger through cold intestines. They try to barbecue his ass and still he keeps limping on until they squash him like a can of tuna. But... I'll be back. And indeed he does in the second installment Terminator 2 Judgment Day or Electromodulator 2 as the Russians would call it. Here he comes back to save the kid whose mother he wanted to kill in the first part. Yeah, I know, James Cameron likes to fuck with our minds. This guy turns out to be a little shit of a public enemy on the run from a secondhand Oscar statue. Arnie swoops in to save the future, almost giving the mom a heart attack in the process. Uh, then they all get into a station wagon and go on a family road trip to see Uncle Hector and get some guns. With this, he goes plowing through police property, uh, plays puzzle with Oscar here while delivering one of the most famous lines in the movie. Hasta la vista, Then they all go hand in hand to a thermal spa for Terminators where Schwarzy commits the final sacrifice for mankind. I'm not sure we deserve it. In Commando, a pimp looking ex-president brings politics into his life and kidnaps his daughter. Now he has 10 hours to save her and what does he do? He teams up with a sexy flight attendant because you know that's the only way you can save your daughter to you know team up with a sexy flight attendant and he uh, uses the telephone booths in unorthodox ways and eats green berets for breakfast. I eat green berets for breakfast. He then puts war paint on and all hell breaks loose. In the final showdown he goes gardening nipping the roses 
and fights this neurotic villain who looks like a coked up version of Freddie Mercury. Now, when they fight, I'm not sure if this guy wants to kill Arnie or have sex with him, but I guess in the end, all he wanted was to blow off some steam. In True Lies, he plays this Bond-esque agent with marital problems. So how does he fix them? He rides his horse to the Marriott, does a bit of tango with his wife, makes her give him a lap dance and literally sticks a rocket up the bad guy's ass and shoots it off. Case closed. In The Predator, Arnie seems to have found his match in the form of a sometimes invisible, always angry alien fighter. Hunter fighter. Fighter hunter. Anyway, uh, so he wants to get his team out of the jungle, the but they cannot make it to the chopper, and his whole team is slaughtered, and Arnie gets his face pushed in the dirt. But there's nothing like being covered with monkey excrement to get your inner primate working. So Schwartz takes on this pesky intergalactic destroyer mano a mano, first by insulting him, the motherfucker. then by dropping a tree trunk on his face. Dumbo! Hater boy. You son of a bitch. I see all the trolling has gotten you soft. In Total Recall, he works again in the genre where he shines best, sci-fi. Here he plays a construction worker with a hot wife way above his paycheck, yet he feels bored and wants to escape his hot, sleazy, sexy wife to have a virtual, guilt-free affair on Mars. He goes to a memory implant facility and things go, of course, wrong. So he wakes up being chased by men with guns and realizes that actually he's quite good at killing people. So maybe he's not a construction worker after all. Then he goes home only to find out that his hot, sexy, sleazy wife is also good at killing people and wants to kill him too. Oh man. He ends up on the run again doing hero stuff like stealing luggage off old ladies. Fuck you, you uh, ass Poking big sticks up his nose to get the buggers out only to find out that he is not who he thinks he is. Yeah, that makes sense. Then he goes to Mars to team up with this... Uh, mutant man baby who does mind games on him and then he fights all the bad guys kills them and sticks his big paw in this martial thingy to make the whole planet habitable how about that for honest day's work in the running man another uh, sci-fi arnie wears yellow spandex and goes slaying into a double jeopardy game here he has to fight his way through different levels and ridiculously looking bosses to regain his freedom. Uh, I mean, just look at this singing Christmas tree looking fucker with a battery up his ass. Ain't he scary? But Schwartz doesn't just do action and futuristic stuff. He's also done quite a bit of comedy like uh, Jiggle All The Way, Twins and the unforgettable Kindergarten Cop. Here he goes undercover as a teacher to catch this Lorenzo Lamas wannabe gangster only to find out that the Rugrats put up quite a challenge to someone who is used to punching people in the face. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. All this commotion gives Arnie a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not, not a, a tumor. tumor. Uh, and he realizes that he found a force that he cannot overpower. But then he eases up into being a teacher, starts having fun with the kids, and we realize that he's more than just a tough guy. This movie is also elevated by a few quirky romantical moments. But of course the bad people do come, and Arnie has to save the day, the woman, and the child even if he ends up in stitches. All in all, Schwartz changed the perception of what a leading man looks and sounds like in Hollywood, paving the way to many other action stars to come. Maybe you could become one. You're fit and you have an accent. I do, don't I? I'll crush you like the rat that you are, Nigel. 
I stick a fuel pump nozzle up your ass, fill you up, and then I'm gonna light a match. Bye bye, Nigel. After so many adventures, killed villains, and perhaps arthritis, I believe that Schwarzi still has enough fight left in him to surprise us. Stick around. As always, thank you for watching. And if you don't subscribe now, I will tear your fucking arm off and beat you to death with it. We interrupt this program to take out the presenter for a mental health evaluation. Hopefully, we will be back soon.